Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a little first impressions on the ColourPop Bye Bye Birdie palette. I'm pretty sure I said I wasn't going to buy this, but lo and behold, here we are. And I figured I would at least get a video out of this palette so that I could justify my ridiculous need to purchase it. So here's the first row. Um, wow, let's watch horribly. I have Ariel, Nesting, Ruffled, and Gander. And then the next row. So there's two pressed glitters in the palette. And this shade is Nevermore, Finch, Amuse Me, and on a wing. This palette reminds me a little bit of the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. I actually love that palette. I did depot it, but it reminds me a lot of that. Okay, these shades actually show up on me, but Boo Bird, Hero in Cheek, Fly By Night, and Plumage. So it was really cool when I talked about this palette in a video. There were um, at least, I think, one person that's like a bird enthusiast was really excited about this palette, which I thought was really cool because obviously I'm not a bird enthusiast, so a palette called Bye Bye Birdie doesn't really like appeal to me in that sense of like, oh, I love birds, you know, but I thought it was really cool that somebody, it really spoke to somebody's aesthetic of their love for birds, so I thought that was really cool. Is this the best representation of a peacock? No, <laughs> because I've never seen a purple peacock in my life, but you know what? It's fine. It's it's a little, it leaves a little to the imagination. So I prime my lids and we're going to play. It's going to be fun. I'm going to try that technique that I talked about where you do the dark shades first and then the lighter shades. And so I'm going to go into plumage, which is that brown. And I have a Sigma... E45 brush and I'm just gonna put that in my crease. I just want to blend today like that's like my What I'm excited for today with makeup is to just sit and blend some mattes. So that's what I'm gonna do um, I do need to went to you guys about a little situation that's happening to me today while I film this so um we have this one family member. She's not even really a family member. It's like an ex-family member that doesn't hasn't like caught a hint and still hangs around the family. And so we got to go to dinner and this person I think was invited but also like again can't catch a hint. So still keeps like showing up to stuff and we're like, "Can you please go away?" <laughs> um but that just grinds my gears because it's like um, one person in the family that just like keeps can't let go you know but it's also somebody very important and close to us so I can't really go into like huge detail but it's just like really frustrating me I like heard this person was coming to dinner and I literally like started crying because they've like in the past just like made up stories about me to other people in the family and so the one person will spend like their whole time defending um, said person that's irritating me no matter what even though like I have a pretty valid reason to be upset with them and like if it was if the roles were reversed I know that the person defending them would make me apologize to them but since they are so like wrapped around this other person's little pinky it's like we have to do whatever they say um versus like our feelings being validated you know so it's kind of a tough situation but i'm hoping with time things will kind of like settle down if you guys don't know this about me my immediate family does not live in the u.s so the only real family we have is like rail's dad and um, friends that are like family that I've just made over the years from like going to college in Fargo and stuff like that. But my parents um, and Rel's mom all live back in our respective countries. I went a little, got a little happy with the blending there. So had to clean that up a little bit. But yeah, Rel's mom and my mom and dad 
Well, my mom and dad live in Sri Lanka, but Rail's mom lives in South Africa, which is where he's from. I'm so excited for him because he's actually going to South Africa this Christmas. Which, well, not Christmas. He'll be back in time for Christmas with me, but he'll get to see his mom um, this holiday, which is nice because he hasn't seen her actually since our wedding, and we got married in 2016. So it's been a few years, and he hasn't been home in a really, really long time. So it'll be good for him to get home. Um, so now I'm going in with the shade Boo Bird, which is a matte with glitter flex, which is low-key annoying. See, the thing with doing the dark shades first is like, how do you cancel out, like, do you just blend a light shade into the dark shade? Like, I don't, is that working? Like, I don't know. I really don't like this color though, because it's got, it's a matte shade with fucking glitter in it. Like, that's annoying. That's annoying, Color Pop. Stop doing that. You're like the family member that keeps inviting themselves to dinner. The cool thing is when I do these videos, I love like how crazy I look and then I just finish the rest of my makeup off camera and then I come back on camera and I look like a snack and I'm like, wow, people must really watch this and be like, what the hell is she doing back there? <laughs> like, I don't know. Do you guys ever wonder that? So I really actually like these colors. I do want to pop a shimmer on my lid. Not a glitter though, just a shimmer. I think I'm going to try... Ariel, it's that first shade I swatch. It's just glitter. Oh my god. Oh, this is a super super shock. Do I dare try? I, I hate using my finger for shadows these days. I don't know. At one point, I was okay with it. This palette sucks, by the way. I don't like it. I mean, it's okay. The thing with ColourPop though is like they've already done so many good palettes. Like, I don't know why they needed to make this one. Like, who is this for? Other than bird enthusiasts. Which, like, as a bird enthusiast, I feel like a lot more bird enthusiasts. Like, how many... Can you name a purple bird? Because I can think of, like, a lot of blue and green and white birds, but can't think of any fucking purple birds off the top of my head. Sorry, I'm swearing a lot. Like I said, I'm in a mood. I decluttered some makeup today. I gotta go to dinner with this bee that I don't want to deal with, which I usually don't really talk about this stuff on my YouTube channel, but I don't think they watch my YouTube channel, so that's fine. And if they do, they're too stupid to fucking realize that I'm talking about them. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> Rel's being a sweetheart and he's gonna go get me some coffee, which is great, because I think that'll perk up my mood. But I'm also mad at myself for buying this palette because I clearly didn't fucking need it. Okay, so I'm going back into the shade Heroin Chic. Chic? I don't know. I'm just blending everything. It's blending really well. I think I'm good. I think I'm going to stop here. I'm going to do my foundation. And then I have another palette I want to show you guys. And then we will end this video. Okay guys, so I'm almost done with my makeup. I just did my brows, some bronzer, and I want to do my lower lash line really quick and be done with my eyes. So I'm just going to grab this little pencil brush by ColourPop. It's an E10. And we're going to go into the shade Heroic. And I grab my mirror here, and I'm just going to plop that on to the lower lash line. And then for the other half, I'm just going to go into a lighter shade. I'm just going to go into nesting. And I'm just going to drag that in from the inside to the outside and just blend those two together. I really like how this palette blended, but... Okay. You can tell everyone how excited you are to get your coffee. Did you get yourself some? Yeah. All good. Two coffees. You got two coffees too? No, two coffees oh. for you. Thank you. Oh, it's falling. One. Oh, there we go. Yes. Which one should I drink first, internet? Hot or cold? Thanks, honey. You're welcome. 
it's love. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'm just going to drag this in so it looks pretty blended, right? I think. And then for inner corner, I'm going to go in with Ariel maybe and see if that pops. I've been like really into inner corners and I can't wait for my Kaleidos highlighters to get here because I think those are going to be gorgeous inner corner highlights for my skin tone. Okay, so this is the face palette I want to show you guys. This is a new MAC holiday palette. I think this shade's going to be a beautiful inner corner for me, so I'm just going to dip into that and see if I can pick up any pigmentation. I saw Mel Thompson um, do a video on the MAC holiday stuff, and this palette looks so pretty. It's not showing up. Let me, the struggle is real. Okay, I do have the Lilac You A Lot palette here because I was going to do a comparison. Maybe the shade Cloud. Will Cloud show up in my inner corner? Everything just like blends into my skin tone. Okay, I'm going to give up on the inner corner situation. So that's like my lower lash line and my inner corner. And then I did grab this eyeliner that came out with the Bye Bye Birdie. It's a beautiful like aubergine color. And I'm going to stick that in my waterline. I like the ColourPop eyeliners. My problem with them is not all the shades are created equal. Some shades glide on and they're beautiful and they last all day and then some shades suck and they're dry and they're gross so that's kind of something you have to watch out for with the ColourPop eyeliners. So that is the eyeshadow look. I do need to put mascara on, but before that, I'm gonna do my face stuff. And I'm gonna drink coffee because, come on now, and this store, Caribou, they do a happy hour. They're in some grocery stores around here. So they do a happy hour where it's buy one, get one free um, from four to six or seven. So when they do that, I don't feel so bad about my coffee consumption needs. So this palette, this is the MAC Stardip Face Compact in Light. And I was really attracted to these blush shades, which is why I bought this palette. So I'm going to go into this shade, which is like the more peach colored one. And using my blush brush that I use all the time, just going to pop that on. Oh, that's pretty. I do like the star like embossing on here, but I won't be buying another one just so I have the pattern. I've done that too much with my makeup collection already, so won't be doing that, but there it is. And then for highlight, I'm gonna dip into this beautiful duochrome pink highlighter and just throw that on. I wouldn't say this is very um, tan girl friendly, but I was just so attracted to the glowy blushes on this palette that I just went like ham and picked it up, but ta-da! So there we are, we are highlighted. We're gonna spray our face. And then while that dries down, I do wanna use two lippies I picked up from the Bye Bye Birdie collection. I got the Ultra Blotted Lip in Cloud Chaser and the Ultra Glossy Lip in Well Nested. I don't really have like a purpley toned lipstick like this, so I thought, hey, why not? I heard from sources that ColourPop was gonna come out with a lot more ultra blotted lips so seems like they have and that is that lip combo so if you're interested in like a purpley lippy and a gloss this might be the set for you it comes in a bundle so you can buy it and very beautiful this one's a little more pink this one's definitely more purple but uh, it's definitely different to most things I put on my face usually so wow I should have really tried to straighten my hair more I didn't, but I'm gonna pop some mascara on and I will be right back. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I just threw on some mascara to finish everything off and kind of, you know, 
make everything look complete. Now, since I have your attention, I do want to show you guys the two monochromatic purple palettes. This is the It's My Pleasure palette. This was like one of the first monochromatic palettes that ColourPop came out with. And it's honestly my favorite of the monochromatic series. The shimmers in this palette are so delicious and I really don't get to use this enough. And this is the Lilac palette next to it. So as you can see, this is very much a pastel themed palette, which is what I think they're doing next. In the Nine Pan series, they're going to do more pastels. So I'm hoping to see... Definitely a green tone pastel shade would be awesome. So there are those two and then here is the birdie palette in case you guys wanted to see it. So it's definitely not like a true purple. There's definitely some neutrals in the birdie palette as well as some different textures. So now I don't think I'm going to film with this again. I think this was like a one and done kind of deal for me. What I don't like about this palette is I hate that there's glitters. I hate that they're still doing like pressed glitters in palettes. The Super Shocks are nice, but they don't really pack a whole lot of punch. And then when it comes to shimmers, there's some shimmers like corresponding. So you could do like this could be an eye look, this could be an eye look. And then these two like matte shades have shimmer in them. So that's annoying. The whole thing is just kind of like... It's a cute color story, but when it comes to actually being able to use this, I don't know that it was worth the price point that it retails for. I think it's like an $18 palette. And to be very honest, I kind of bought it because I wanted to hit $30 on this lip combo. Now, I just filmed a lip declutter. As you can see, all of these are like lip swatches that I haven't gotten off my hand yet. And so these shades aren't really that unique as well. I thought they were more unique, but now that I've seen Pretty much every single lipstick that I own, I feel like I technically have these shades, so I'm a little bit bummed that I purchased those. And to me, I much more gravitate towards this palette compared to the Birdie palette, which I honestly thought was a purple palette, but when I look at it next to a purple palette, it's just a very neutral palette with two like berry tones in it. So you definitely don't need this palette. It's definitely one that I should have taken the time and trusted my gut and not shopped when I was like stressed and everything and I was just using it to make me feel better in the moment so that was my bad. As far as this MAC palette goes, this was definitely kind of like a fun thing that I picked up. I thought it was a fun holiday thing. I thought it was a little bit out of the box for me because I typically wouldn't wear a highlighter like this. Like I said, I was definitely drawn to the blush shades in this palette and there is a like a dark tone friendly palette but I think in that palette there's two repeating shades and I wasn't really that pumped about that so I just thought this was such a fun little piece from MAC Holiday so I really really just wanted to pick that up and try it out so look at all this fun aesthetic this beautiful packaging so I don't know I think the face palette was a win but the birdie palette was definitely a miss for me I feel like that's definitely going to end up on my Poshmark probably by the end of this year. So anyway, I hope this helped you guys out, help influence you to think a little bit, not so much purchase spur of the moment like I sometimes do, but that's okay. You know, we all learn from these things, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one soon. Bye!